Hey guys, it's D to the B here. Um, me and L to the C are here to talk about the Transformers War for Cybertron slash Siege Unicron figure. This figure has been talked a lot about on YouTube, so it was time we would talk about it. Um, for my opinion, the figure does look good. This is the best Unicron figure that we've got in general. If other people know what the other Unicron figures looked like. It has movable eyes. It has movable fingers. It has... Its mouth can open. And as I showed before, the planet is huge. And looks very much like the movie. Which, <clears throat> P.S., if you want to hear my thoughts about the G1 movie, I will actually be talking about that in a video that's coming up very soon. It looks like G1 to me. Yeah. Very G1. But this figure is over 27 feet. So this is the biggest Transformers figure in history. Yes, even bigger than Titans Return, Trypticon, and Fortress Maximus. Hmm. And the original Unicron toys. And the Primus toy. Yes, even that cheap knockoff version that was made just for the last night. <laughs> Which, why did they make that? He wasn't even in the movie. No, wait. I remember. Money, money, money. Anyway, um, the figure looks good, but the main reason I wanted to talk about this video was to explain my thoughts about the campaign. So, apparently, Hasbro, or whatever the other company who's making this figure is called, let's just call it Hasbro Plus because that's what it says on the website, um... It needs 80,000 or something to make sure this figure actually happens. Um, and the feet of, and it will end, <coughs> sorry guys, um, it will end on August 31st at 11.59 p.m. Or 12 o'clock, whatever you, you people want to call it. But, and the price, oh my goodness, this is the most expensive Transformers toy in history. Literally, even more than Fortress Maximus and Trypticon. But, I couldn't blame them because, look at this thing. It's a giant. It's a planet killing machine. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, and the last thing you're probably wondering, well, for me anyway, because I'm cool, I mean an L to C, um, you're probably wondering, am I going to support this and buy the figure? For me, not really, because three reasons. One, I, actually, maybe three or four. One, I'd rather not support a toy that is probably not going to reach its date. Um, well, its timeline of this campaign. Um, two, I do not have the money for this thing. And three, actually, I think it may be these only two. All right, I'll to see. You can talk about your opinion about this figure, I guess. It's a cool figure. Um, would I support it? Yes. Would I buy it? Mm, only if it's that expensive, which it is expensive. Come on, people. If anything, if this figure does happen, 
I'm just gonna wait until Christmas, see if the price goes down a little. It's not gonna go down that easy. Uh, I know, it's probably gonna be like four ninety nine or four fifty nine if anything. But we just wanted to do this quick video and as I said, I'll try to put a link in the description for this toy. Um there is also a a bonus seeker pack that is real or fake. People have not figured out if it's real or fake or not, but that's a video for another day. <laughs> or maybe the past few seconds. But Elton C is probably not going to participate in that one, so let's just wrap up this one. And then we have some work to do. Alright, so looks good. Probably not going to buy it unless if it's on a really good deal. And yeah, that's about it. I'll leave the link to the description and this is D to the B out. Bye.